Let's suppose you're running a business where you have a team of field staff. Maybe they're couriers or they might be mechanics and they need to go out to a particular job. You've got staff all over the state or all over the city and you need to decide which technician or which person should be routed to that particular job. One way that you can do it is that you can look at the technician's location compared to the location of the job and you could send out an SMS to all of the staff who are nearby and ask them if they are available for a job. Let's see what that would look like. We've got a new job to fix a flat battery. It's located at 350 Swanson Street in Melbourne, Australia. What we should find is that we should be able to locate nearby technicians and automatically send them an SMS. Let's see what happens. I'll create the job. We should see that it will automatically get geocoded. It will convert this address into a latitude and a longitude. And then shortly after that, we should get an SMS sent out to relevant staff who are nearby. Okay, you can see it has geocoded successfully and you probably heard my phone go off in the background. I've just got a new SMS. SMS saying, hi Joe, are you available for a job? The way this works is we have in each of the contacts, we also have their address and we are able to geocode their address using a service called Position Stack. You can see here, for example, that Joe Helper is located at 101 Swanson Street and that works out to be roughly 400 metres away. And our workflow rule is able to run some deluge code that finds the contacts that are nearby and then sends them an SMS. Let me show you what that code looks like. I've got two workflow rules that are relevant. The first one is where we are geocoding the contacts addresses so that we have a longitude and latitude for each of them. Workflow rule is where we geocode the job address and then we find any nearby contacts and send them an SMS. Let's look at the first one, geocode contact. We run the workflow rule whenever the contact is created or edited, as long as the longitude is empty. And then we run a deluge function, which is able to use the positionstack.com API to convert an address into a longitude and latitude. I like position stack because it's got a generous free tier and it's much easier to use than the Google Maps API. And it's also way more accurate than the Zoho Maps geocoding feature. What we're doing is we gather the street, city, all of the relevant parts, we combine them into a single line, and then we pass that to position stack using get URL. Position stack will then give us back the results in a certain format, which we are able to interpret here. We grab the latitude and longitude, and then we update the contact. I'll share all of the code for it apart from my special secret access key. The second aspect is we do pretty much the same thing for the job. And then we use some code that is able to search for nearby contacts using the great circle distance method. This is a way of calculating the distance between two latitudes and longitudes based on the fact that the earth is round. Probably when you were in high school, there's a, a relatively simple way of calculating the distance where you do square root of a squared minus b squared or x squared, x1 squared minus x2 squared plus y2 squared minus y1 squared. But because the earth is round, we have to factor in a little bit of trigonometry using cos and sine and a cos in order to figure out the actual distance if you map it over going round 
because you can't necessarily go in a straight line unless you believe in the flat earth theory. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem like that theory stacks up. So instead, we have to break out some relatively complicated mathematics. Down here, you can see we've got this crazy formula here involving A cos and sine and a lot of cos factoring in the latitudes and longitudes and the radius of the Earth. If we use all of that, we're able to get the distance between the job location and the location of each of the relevant contacts. Because you might have a large number of contacts in your CRM, we first do a searching process where we search for contacts where they're in the same state at least. Because for example, in Australia, you've got seven or eight states and territories. In the US, you've got over 50 or different countries you have a way of splitting up contacts because the problem with this approach here is that until you've actually got all of the contacts downloaded you can't calculate the distance between them and to help minimize the amount of calculations you want to drill down to a particular part of the country first and slice your contacts into the more relevant ones we do that using search records once we've got a list of potential contacts that could make it to the job, we then use the great circle distance formula and figure out how many kilometers are between the contact and the job. If it's less than five kilometers away, then we send out an SMS asking them, are you available for a job at blah? And give them the distance. You could then follow it up with an autoresponder where if they respond with yes, then you could send them the job details at that point. Hopefully this will help you to see how you could use a combination of lo location with SMS to have quite a powerful workflow rather than you having to manually go in and choose which contacts or just SMS all of them because you don't know who's going to be closest. You can be quite targeted and that means you're going to save money on your SMS and you're also going to save a lot of time. I'll share the code for this example in the link in the description of this video. I hope it helps.